I believe that one of the more difficult areas to understand about practicing is the process involved in problem solving. So why don't we have a look at my graph, which breaks this down into six steps. Six steps that I believe will help explain and clarify this process. The six steps are one, identify, two, define, three, explore, four, develop, five, transform, six, internalize. So looking at the first step reveals the need to identify the problem area. So most problems are rather easy to determine or identify, but we need to define them, or could I say, understand what the elements are in the determined problem area. So it's with the knowledge of these elements, knowing what they are, that we can proceed towards exploring what the root causes of the problems identified could be. And so with this exploration completed, we now need to develop strategies that will address, or should I say lead us, towards fixing the problem. So, let's see if we can figure out some strategies for learning this little excerpt. For example, why don't we just play the bottom note? Could play just the top note. What if I played the bottom note and I fingered the top note? Or what if I played the top note but I still fingered the bottom? What if I played the first three notes as octaves, the next three notes, the next three? You see, whatever I can think of is probably a good way to go when I'm trying to create a strategy. Now, with these strategies in hand, we, we need to find ways to transform them, turn them into physical realities. This occurs when we observe what happens while we're in the act of doing what we have decided to focus on. By turning our focus in this way, the physicality of what we are doing in our exercises becomes real, becomes a reality, and so becomes transformed. Now that this is done, we can begin the final stage of our practicing, which is the internalization of those realities or turning them into reflexes. To do this, we need to use repetitive practicing skills. Meaning, for example, using a metronome or making practice sheets. Anything that your creative mind can conjure up is valid. It's, it's worth trying. This will allow us to stop thinking and simply do it. I mean, do we think when we tie our shoes? And so this is my explanation of my graph on problem solving. 
Let's not forget the six steps. Identify, define, explore, develop, transform, and internalize. It is my hope that this brings a clearer focus and understanding to this process.